Good morning, Bellevue Heights Church. It's Tuesday, July 20th, um, and I am coming to you on my birthday, and I am excited to do that. Happy birthday to me. This week I had an interesting thing happen. I had to drive to Mesa, and um, I wasn't looking forward to that, but not a problem. I drove to Mesa and drove back on Thursday. And then Friday morning, I got up to go get my nails done. And I looked at the dashboard and it told me that the tire pressure was low on my tires. And I went, what? How can that be? These tires only have 2,000 miles on them. So I got out and looked and here was a of a screw bolt type of thing sticking out the side of my tire. And I said, oh, well, I don't have time to go get that fixed. I will try to make it to the um, nail place and then go, the tire place was just about a mile away and then go over there. Well, everything came out just fine. So I'll make a long story short, everything came out just fine, but as I think back on this, and I think about all of the ramifications that could have taken place, um, I could have been on that freeway and that bolt, I'm assuming, came from a truck and probably kicked it up into the side of the tire the way that bolt was in the tire because there was no way that I ran over it. It had to be kicked up some way or another into the tire. And I think how lucky, lucky am I, lucky. One of my least favorite words, actually. How lucky am I that that did not pierce the car, did not pierce the window, did not pierce me, but just got the tire and deflated the tire a little bit. And I think, that wasn't luck. No, that wasn't luck. That was our dear, precious Lord looking after me. It brought me to Psalms 121, um, a Psalms that I have dwelt on quite a bit in my life. And as many of us who are our age and have experienced so many life situations, we've had to come to this point so many times, and I'd like to read Psalms 121 to you right now. I raise my eyes toward the mountains. Where will my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not allow my foot to slip. My protector will not slumber. Indeed, the protector of Israel does not sleep or slumber. The Lord protects me. The Lord is a shelter right by my side. The sun will not strike me by day or the moon by night. The Lord will protect me from all harm. He will protect my life. The Lord will protect my coming and going both now and forever. The Lord protected me this week, and for that I count my blessings. The Lord has protected me in so many, many, many situations over the time that I've lived. And I am so thankful for my Lord Jesus Christ and for him being a part of my life. And I would like to uh, end this with you listening to a song um, of Psalms 121. And um, it's by the Psalms Project. And it's called, He Watches Over Me. And I'll let you listen to this. I lift my eyes 
rise up to the hills Where does my help come from? My help comes from Yahweh Maker of heaven and earth He will not let your feet slip his right hand never leaves you. He who keeps you never slumbers nor sleeps. He watches over you like a shade from the sun by day and the is over you no evil can invade the coming of Yahweh Thank you, church. Have a great and blessed week and know that God watches over you, will not let your foot slip. He will not let your foot slip 24 seven. He is with you. He is in your heart. He loves you like no other. He made you. You are who he wants you to be. Have a great and wonderful week. <laughs>